is, there's no judgment. The we're not judging any. We're not. It's the insecurity no. that you have within yourself, though, and that's what you're you shaming are, yourself. You you're shaming anybody yourself. else. Exactly. I'm so ashamed that I did this. Right. Exactly. And because it, and it, and it, I know yeah. women, and that's why I have Perfect. always said my whole life, I will never say. What I would One never, never do. do. No, girl, That's you right. karma. You break. You call the yeah, karma. You call it. It's you call coming. Karma. And so, but I have Team met women on this journey how, that have said. I don't feel I'm like pleased. I'm whoring Thank you. because I'm with somebody's husband because that's the only man I'm with. Oh, well, and a honey. Uh, and honey. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I think and we really, all go to a place in our mind that we can justify and make right, bad decisions. Okay. Right. No. And I'm not judging anybody. I ain't even judging yeah. Because I've not worn those pair of shoes. I hear they And I don't want to wear them. And I don't, I don't want to wear them. them. But right. I think no matter what the activity, somewhere in our mind, whether it be addiction to drug or being with a married person, because men do this or too. Shopping. Right. Or shopping. shopping. Or um, a pornography. Whatever it is that we've convinced we can't, or we've convinced ourselves I can't live without it. We've also justified why it's to okay. manage, why it's okay, why it's to, okay manage to do our it. shame, and that's how you stay in it when yep. you, justify. you justify. And that's why what I love about you, Lamia. I ain't got you, no justification. <laughs> but you, you're able to own those real hard truths that most people want to just forget about. Yeah, but if you forget about it and you hide it in your back of your mind, then you never face it. And then you don't know hey, how to fix it. You face it every single day. People what? face it every single day but and they, they cram it down, it. cram it down, cram it down. Until the point that you're sick. I mean, y'all know I went through depression. I was going mm -hmm. through everything. Let me tell you why. One time. Let me tell you so, why. Since we're just keeping it real, why I had issue with women who, who deal with and have affairs with married men is because my husband had an affair. Mm -hmm. And I was hot as all get out. Yeah, you are. But when I came to myself, what I realized is I don't have no business being, I don't have no problem with her. Because right. I didn't make a commitment with her. I didn't make a covenant you with her. You made it with him. That's right. And it was And so that's kid. where women get it twisted. Right. You well, know, you want to go after the woman. Yeah. But actually, she's doing what a woman's going to do. That's she's right. trying to get a man. Let's put it this way. And y'all, I'm going to take y'all to school a little bit. So... so as a when I was out there and as a woman, okay, I'm going to do everything I can do to get a man. If a man, if that man shows me that attention, mm -hmm. then guess what? And he's married. I have an opportunity to take him. You wow. know why? Because I'm doing what he can't get at home. Wow. Now, did you leave the door open as a wife? Mm-hmm. To allow him to go out there. Now, we will give us, a, and it's not our fault as women, because we hold a lot on our plate and we expect a lot. But a lot of, but we will do in a marriage, we'll stop doing, and it goes both ways. Right. What first. Yeah, it goes for it, the husband as well as the right. wife. It goes yeah. both ways. What attracted you what to each other. What attracted you to each other, and then it becomes the petty arguments. And so, and, the and, clown, and you know. But and, you know and, what, in this world that we live in now, there is no, uh, there is no modesty. So right. we, we have three perspectives sitting here. We right. have a woman who's been with a married man. Mm -hmm. We have the wife of mm -hmm. a husband who cheated. Mm -hmm. Right. And we have the child of a parent or parents or however, or however you want to, uh, a product of, of adultery was in my childhood. Um, I'm a product of that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not of that, but, but uh, I have, I, my, I was raised in a home where adultery was committed. Mm -hmm. And, um, as a child, um, it left me feeling like sex was a dirty, bad thing. Mm -hmm. It left me feeling like that parent did not love my other parent or me enough to be faithful to our family. Mm -hmm. um, and it and it gave me, um, it made it really hard for me to learn how to be intimate and trust. Wow. And um, and, it, and I feel like it, it left a scar on the relationship that I, I wanted with that other parent. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have three perspectives. And so, you know, how does it make a wife or a spouse feel? Mm -hmm. How does the mistress feel? How does a child in that triangle wow. feel? And I think it's a great perspective for us to think about. Um, and, you know, as an as a parent that as a wife and as a parent, you know, when adultery or, or cheating came ever and not, I have not endured that in my own marriage, but 
one of the things that I, I've that's never. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. I, I've you never. Know, this is one I, of those on air conversations that we should. You know, we we ain't even on it. I know. Yeah, we just But I just, let me, let me we just. This is how we do therapy. This is let, our let me therapy this before the show. Like, we're not even on air. So yet. in a not in a not perfect marriage, we do right. not have adultery as one of our hurdles. We do not, and we're blessed in that. But it is not a perfect marriage. And in a no not marriage no perfect. marriage is perfect. That's but right. in a not perfect marriage. I knew going into that, although I've never said not in my marriage because anything can happen. You better not. Um, but in my marriage, I always knew how I did not want my children to see and feel about me. Because we all know that as a spouse or a husband, there are days that we love them, we hate them, we can suffocate them, whatever. Right. It, um, exactly. So it's not always, uh, we're not always in the same place in the path day in and day out in our marriage. But what I I did know is what kind of parent I wanted my children to have, even though there were days I didn't know what what kind of wife I could be. Mm -hmm. I always knew that's just one of the things (coughs) I can't can't live with as a mom, with my children seeing me in those eyes and um, with those scales on their eyes. And so, um, and that was my own baggage as a child. I think when you can own it and you can say, I went through this in my marriage, or I went through this in my life, that it really, hopefully, will bless somebody else. Right. You know what I'm and saying? That, and that's the whole purpose of the show. Right. Like, to ensure that pe- people don't feel like they're the only ones. And look, right. I will and, tell you this, and, I've, and had, I've okay. had parents tell me, and I have had married um, women tell me, uh, or cheated on women tell me, um, you know what? You've never been divorced and your spouse hasn't had an affair on you. Your opinion doesn't count and you don't have a dog in this race. And I'm like, well, it's an opinion. That's what it is. It is an opinion opinion. because my situation shaped me as a mother, Mm -hmm. which has benefited my husband. And let me say this. I I wouldn't wish adultery on On anybody. Or any man, any, any, anyone, anyone, so, you know, yeah. So or I, any child, right? Or and, any child, and and I think that, and that's another thing nobody ever talks about. How does it affect the child? Right. I, oh, the, she the, she, she, jacked, a, she jacked up. <laughs> she jacked. Look, no, how does no, it affect no. the child? Mm-hmm. The the product of all of this, or the child that's going through this, right. while the parents are going through. The, see, that's the thing. We always think our children has a deaf ear to what's these, happening uh, yeah. to right. what's happening and really they have more sense than all of us they know what's mm-hmm. going on mm-hmm. and it does have an effect on them and, so well we at a very that, early age i learned to fear what if my person cheats on me one day well what well, well, what, what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not? I mean, right. at a very early age, I woman, started fearing that before I'd woman, even hit puberty. Exactly. I'm worrying about if I'm going to grow up to be a woman to be enough for my spouse. Right. So, you know, there are people who have opinions and they say, you, it wasn't your marriage. It wasn't your partner. It, you, your opinion doesn't count. Yeah. Does it not? It does. How, how did how do either of your children feel about what have you ever thought? What did my child feel when we endured that? Did you even have I children didn't. at the time? I, I, so, you I, know. I, I did, but I yeah. never even thought about you, you what, know, that. what they had mm-hmm. going on at the time. You, and because you, you probably consider. hid it and you probably hid it, you know, because that's, that's how you were raised. Mm-hmm. That's how you were raised. Mm-hmm. You hide it. You don't let you no matter what your kids, they not supposed to. And see they it, know and they more know it. than you think. Right. Yep. They know they probably went. And this is the thing. I've had situations. I've had relatives or whatever that took the kid with them to go visit the other woman. Oh, now that's just right. Oh rotten. my God. But that's, that, uh, it, it's some, happened. It, you know it, it does saying? happen all day it long. It does happen. Long. It, they, they take the kids with them to go visit now the other just, woman or go visit the other man. And guess what? Not thinking the kid understands what's going right. on. The kid perfectly knows. He know that you're not kissing daddy or you're not kissing <laughs> right, mama. Right, right. Like, he knows that, you know. And, and how does that affect when them my, cause, in time? you know, my parents went through it or whatever. And I, I can recall as a kid, my my dad took some bananas <laughs> to, to, the other to, woman? to the other woman. And I was with him. And I just mentioned, well, we went over there, mama, to take some bananas. <laughs> you know? And, your and my mama was like. I got your banana. She said, well, who the hell? He took damn bananas. I was like, well, that's such and such lady Uh at the corner. And Uh she was like, oh, "Oh, hell no. I can't Uh take no damn bananas. Uh And before I know it, it it, it was a full-blown argument of some damn bananas. Okay, so can I ask you this? And I was a kid. So wait, but, but. But I thought it was my fault. This argument explodes. I thought it was my fault. 
I thought it was my fault that my daddy took Your daddy didn't cut the grass. He didn't tell you no tell. Took, took, took bananas to his mistress, and you you didn't know to lie. I didn't know to lie. You learned then to start lying, probably. He, he learned something, because I never went back to take no more damn bananas. <laughs> But how, what did that leave you feeling it with? It didn't, girl, I was hood. I, I was raised hood. <laughs> All I know is daddy got cussed out behind taking uh-huh. some woman bananas. Uh-huh. I mean, it, it, it just, it was just different. I didn't think nothing of it at the time, but I was like, he in trouble? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think in today's culture, so, you know, people, um, people just are so free. And society has said that if it feels good and do it. Yeah. If it feels good, do it. I and mean, we really have to be careful. But the thing okay, is, you got to be able to repent. Good, so this, is, this is something. If you decide you're going to do something it wrong. It may feel good from anywhere from three seconds to 15, 15 minutes. But, but is it worth the rest, your the spouse, yard. your family, your children, your finances, the, your home? Was that three to 15 minutes? Three seconds no. to 15 minutes. Was let it me, good? Was it that good? Now, let me was tell, it that worth now, it? Now, let me tell you this. I can tell y'all what I did. I did some crazy stuff in Oklahoma. Let me tell you. So, you know, I went back to Oklahoma. I uh-huh. This guy, I went back. I was like, hey, we're together, this and that. Now, you know, I'm super good to him. Great, great, great. Super good. I, I thought I was. So later on in a relationship, like after I got there, moved there, you know, things kind of change up or whatever during that time. Well, then, you know, we come back. We're having a great time. Now, we've had disagreements before where we break up or whatever, but we would get back together because it was always somebody doing something wrong. But if you break up and y'all in a happy place and then they just come out of nowhere and be like, um, I thought I wanted to be with you, but I don't. Mm-hmm. After you done moved, sacrificed, risk everything, I responded a little differently. I lost my damn mind. I tore up his whole house. You did. What did you think I that was hoodish. so soft? I was pissed at that point. Well, I at some care. point, she probably got a little sexual satisfaction out of it. No, shoot. I, I would feel like I did, but I didn't get anything out of it. Like, we've been done. I was apologetic. I mean, you know, I was like, sorry it. after I don't After I tore your golf club and then your TV screen. I'm so sorry. But this is the thing. And so I had to think about this. So now, did look, you feel like you feel played? I, hell yeah. I didn't risk everything for you. And you, you know, yeah. And now you, you don't. And, all and, of a sudden. And all of a sudden, just out the blue, it was. So what I But do you think that women misread this kind of stuff all the time? They do. Because what ended up happening then, I became the super bad person Mm -hmm. because I tore up his stuff. Right. Not all the things that happened prior to it, but I'm the bad one because when you tear up a man's stuff, that's the end of the road. And you never take a woman back, but you'll take her back if she cheats. Mm -hmm. So... Um, now well, I he, didn't cheat, but well, he, I'm saying, he probably felt like cray cray. He probably yeah. felt like cray cray. Well, you don't feel like she cray. crazy. Okay, she so, crazy. She, she crazy. Yes, she, crazy. That's she, crazy. Crazy. Bad. she crazy. Yeah. She crazy. So my thing is, and then he's saying, if we have another falling out, she liable to get the grits and and pour you know? them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What's but then the you grit? think about this hot grits. Yeah, yeah. I don't know so, about. so then you think about just this. think about getting hit with some hot grits. Yeah. I said, okay. Scalding somebody. Yeah, today. that's true. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd do that. I figured I could tear up the stuff because I wouldn't do anything to him. But this is the options that, I'm sorry, y'all. This is she the option. Died. Beautiful her. Diane Carroll. Diane Carroll. Oh, no. 84. Right, 84? Oh, wow. Yeah, 84. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Right. So this is the option. This is what I was saying. So in his previous relationship, the person cheated, cheated, cheated on him, took mm-hmm, him back. Mm-hmm. He took him back, took him back. So I said, okay, men, where are the values? Mm-hmm. Because you will let a woman cheat that could possibly bring you AIDS, mm-hmm. but if she, and you won't be done with her. Mm-hmm. So but what was the response? Up, but if she tear up your furniture uh-huh. that she That's replaced, it. mm-hmm. it's over. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't got a decent response yet. Not one of them been able to tell me what what's Mm-hmm. Well, I think sometimes if you if you go that far, you know, the person says maybe you have some anger issues. And right. What will you do next, next time? But this time it cheat, was my furniture. Next time it could be my life. It could be my life. So but then what about if you cheat? Well, if you cheat, you just, you know, well, that could be your and, life. OK, so let me tell you this one time I told Craig, this is what I thought about doing. I was like, you know, I just always wonder, you know, we've been together. We're in our 29th year together. Mm-hmm. We've been married 24 years. 
And I was like, you know, I'm just curious. If just once, why are you sleeping and you're not listening to me for sure? Like you don't listen to me when I talk to you other points in the day. Why are you just in a good dead sleep? Not loaded. Mm -hmm. But if I get like your shotgun and just come in the bedroom and like <laughs> just click it, make it go. Ch -ch -ch. He said, let me tell you something right now. In the dark, I don't care who you are. I'm going to shoot you. If I I'm hear that you. sound go off, I'm coming out of the bed and I'm going to snap a neck before I ever turn on a light. Well, he said, you're going to be dead. That's in the dark, though. I'm just saying. I was like, I'm why just would curious. You have, why, you, why would you even say that? that? See, that's I, the I, difference I, I, between no. white people crazy <laughs> and goddamn black people crazy. I just wanted now, to know if you were listening. Like that. Oh, that you hear me now? Wait. Wait. That is Wait. the difference between white people crazy. <laughs> I tore up furniture. <laughs> 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 to your little woman. Look, Craig. All right, we got work okay, to do. Okay, y'all, we got to go to work. Our behind the scenes. Oh, Lord, look, Jesus. I, oh, Lord, y'all, look. Hold on one second. Uh-oh. <laughs> she went to whisper. Hello.